Hello everyone, I'm gonna give you a walkthrough of the build I just released. So let's see uh, what you can do in this build and how you can help beta testing. First of all, let's look at what's in the build. We see here the files included in the build. There are many libraries, then the main uh, game and the data folder. If we get in the data folder, we find uh, uh, these folders that you shouldn't edit, this uh, text file that you shouldn't edit either, and the debug.ini file that you should open and edit. This uh, file contains uh, uh, some settings that you can uh, change. The first thing you notice is uh, the gravity setting. Uh, 100 is the default gravity. If you change it, uh, uh, you can uh, obviously mo change in game gravity. If you uh, put the minus in front of the number, it will change the direction of the gravity. And this is buggy and not yet uh, s uh, supported by the game. The same uh, you can do with um, uh, horizontal gravity, but it's buggy and not supported either. Then we see the special ash uh, section where you can change the cell sides. Uh, a smaller cell size uh, will make the collisions uh, checks faster but buggier, so you may find some bugs. Uh, 10,000 is uh, a fairly small number, I haven't seen any major bug with uh, this kind of number, and uh, it's not too slow either. If you have a bigger cell size, uh, it will be much more accurate but slower. The offset uh, determines the amount of extra cells picked during collision checks. This means if you have uh, a smaller cell size, you would like to have a bigger offset, so uh, you can um, avoid missing objects in uh, nearby cells. So these are the settings. When you open the game uh, from this uh, exe file, this is the window that will pop up. This is the game screen. Basically here you can load um, levels. You can load levels by pressing L and this pop-up appears. Here you see all the uh, available levels. When you load the level you will be able to play. Left and right move the character. Z jumps. X, X shoots the gun. If you want to see the physical bodies, just press K and you will toggle the visibility of these bodies. Let's take um, let's take the companion level. Meanwhile, I stopped the recording to change the cell size to um, to a higher number because I noticed some bugs. So uh, this is uh, an example level, as you can see you can push stuff, collision seems to work properly. Uh, there are some other controls that are one, the number one, to greet a companion, the number three, to tell him to follow you, and the number two, to stop him. If you press uh, F5, you will jump to the editor. In the editor you can load levels by pressing L and save levels by pressing S. You can zoom in and out by pressing M and N and you can uh, cycle through the tiles by pressing Z and X. You place tiles by pressing left mouse button and you remove them by pressing right mouse button while left shift is pressed. To select tiles, you uh, press left mouse button with left shift. To clear the selection, you press right mouse button. Some objects need arguments. You can uh, change them by pressing uh, uh, middle mouse button while you are in the objects layer this window appears. On the top 
you can see the current arguments if you want to change one of them you type in uh, the new value in the text box and you double click on the argument on the bottom you can see a brief description of the arguments press F5 again to go back to the game I will show you uh, some other mechanics for example the crashing this is the crashing it's a uh, kind of buggy but uh, the detection will be um, more precise in the future as you can see it works when you're crashed against something but it uh, doesn't happen when there is nothing to crash you in another example is here so that's it for this build your um, let's say your challenge is to find uh, uh, severe collision bugs I'm aware that uh, many bugs happen when the cell size is uh, lower than um, for example uh, uh, 20,000 but uh, there might be some other bugs I didn't catch even that happen even with uh, higher cell size numbers uh, you can um, try to find these bugs by creating levels and then uh, testing the behavior of the player of the crates airstreams in the levels thank you for downloading uh, my game uh, I hope uh, uh, you don't find any serious bug and that I can keep on developing and focusing on uh, fixing uh, these limitations Thank you for watching, I will keep you updated.